Okay folks, this is the new setup. So obviously this is the Insta360 ONE X2 with the Rode Wireless GO 2 radio mic on the bracket which Insta actually sell for this very, very reason. When you purchase the bracket, it actually comes with this wire as well. And again, all of this you can see is in the invisible seam line, which is down the side of the camera. So when the clever magic stuff happens in the edit, it keeps everything out of shot here because it's between the two lenses, the front lens and the back lens. So don't ask me how it works, but it does work. I've done loads of tests now, you've seen in my previous videos. So we know that all of that gubbins does stay out of shot. That horse is beautiful in the background, isn't it? That sculpture, it's a, a great spot to ride out to here. Um, so what I'm gonna do mainly on this review and this test rather, is to see how good the sound is from my helmet into this unit, which is the, like I say, the Rode Wireless Go 2. So I'm still using a lapel mic as normal within my helmet, but I've got a transmitter, um, probably, I don't know if you can see it actually, if you use the GoPro shot, so that's the transmitter there. That's one of the transmitters actually, which comes with the um, radio mic. It comes with two transmitters. So my idea is to place the second transmitter. I don't think I'll get a chance to do that in this review but I'd like to place the second one somewhere near the exhaust so I can get a clean feed of my voice from the helmet and also a clean feed of the exhaust note. Then what I'd like to do is to fine tune that mix between the two audio channels in the edit. So that's my plan anyway, but we'll see how that goes. But what I'm very excited about is that, even though I'm wearing the GoPro today, just so you can see the Insta camera, I plan to ditch the GoPro, as you've seen on my uh, recent video called Showtime. So, and I would love to just, just come out with this one camera and one microphone, well, radio microphone unit in the future to do everything. So I'm gonna go for a spin now, demonstrate what the camera can do, if you haven't seen it already from my videos, and also to give the wireless audio a run for its money and I'll only know this of course when I get home into the edit and uh, we'll see how good or bad indeed the system is. That's the selfie stick I have there by the way so as well as keeping the camera there for most of my talking and blurb um, I shall be then taking the camera off and mounting it on the selfie stick because then as you also know if you follow my channel for a while I sit on the selfie stick have it sticking out the side and that's how I get those lovely side-on shots, which looks like a drone following me. I also put this down the back of my jacket as well, which sticks above me, which I'll be doing in this video. And um, that gives you the top shot looking straight down on me and the bike. And again, the selfie stick is made invisible with the software. And uh, it just it looks like very, very high production values, if you ask me. I just need the sound to step up to the mark. So, wish me luck and here we go. And we're off with my brand new motor vlogging setup, the Insta360 ONE X2 and the Rode Wireless GO 2. The Rode is the radio mic part of the system, which means I can transmit wirelessly from the helmet, which I'm doing right now, so hopefully you can hear me. That's the unfortunate thing. I won't know if I've got any sort of results <laughs> until I get home and check the footage back. So hopefully it's all going down. I'm looking at the receiver, which is attached to the side of the Insta360 camera on the invisible seam line. I was waiting for a bracket to make all of that happen. The bracket keeps the receiver within that invisible seam line of the camera so hopefully we won't see that in the shot either the software does all this wonderful magic trickery and keeps that receiver out of shot so if it all works and i get sound at the end of the day i'll be a very very happy camper i already love the picture quality from this camera now the reason i've got the gopro on and it's probably my last ever outing with a gopro if you watched my recent video, I think I called it Showtime, I was out on the Royal Enfield 
I explained why I'm moving away from GoPro and moving over to Insta360 so I won't go into all of that again it's all itemized within that previous video I think I only released that a week or two ago so you can see here the scenery is absolutely wonderful one thing I've noticed about the Insta360 the One X2 in fact rather than calling it its full name all of the time I think I'll just call it either the camera or the One X2 so you know what I'm talking about so one thing about this camera compared to the, its previous version is that it's so much better in low light and certainly at this time of the evening when the Sun is starting to set it handles the contrast an awful lot better than its predecessor I was sent the camera free of charge by Insta360 but as I told them my thoughts are my own, my opinions are my own, good or bad it just so happens that I absolutely love the camera in fact I'm going to let you into a little secret, I was so impressed by it I actually went out and bought another one not just as a backup, I have um, other tricks up my sleeve which I'll bring to you in future videos with the two of them but for, for now I only need to use one of them now I'm gonna start with a negative what that's not like you I hear you cry <laughs> it's only one slight negative and I'll get it out the way first so I can concentrate on all the positives um, I'm a user of the Rode Wireless Go system for the last year or so and I thought the new Wireless Go 2 would be a great addition to have on the motorbike because you can feed two transmitters therefore two sources of sound into the one receiver so my plan was to have one as I'm doing now within the helmet or on the helmet so I can talk to you and then I was going to put another transmitter was going to mount that down near the engine somewhere so I could get a nice clean feed of the engine sound on my bikes I was then going to do a nice mix within the edit and just get the perfect balance of engine noise to my voice and just give it, you know, socks really, uh, give you as much audio quality as I can give you with picture quality on board this camera. However, the problem is this, and I couldn't find it anywhere in the specifications of the camera until I actually tried it. Um, the problem is it only has a mono sound input it doesn't have a stereo left and right input now what does this mean in real life? well it means that you can't separate the two channels of audio once you've taken the card from the camera into your edit suite it all goes down as one track yes it records the, the two sources alright but it does the mix itself which is the same because like I say I just wanted to fine-tune that mix manually in the edit but you can't do that it goes down onto one track unlike a GoPro there you go GoPro has something over an Insta360 I think it's the only thing it has over it. but uh, but that's that's the only downside so a way around this is that after I've done only talking and gibberish I can then record the engine noise myself and then, uh, well, basically record a loop of it for like three or four minutes and then fine-tune that in the edit to overlay under my voice but you can't record the two separate tracks of audio at the same time having the separation between the different tracks within the camera it all goes down as one track so I hope that makes sense, I hope it's not too technical had a few comments of uh, some of you recently saying that uh, my camera review stuff was a bit too technical so I'm trying to simplify it you'll have to forgive me it is what I work with and I am a self-confessed nerd when it comes to stuff like this so I am trying to simplify it however everything else is plain sailing I'm saying all of this I really hope the sound on the camera when I get home after having this beautiful spin out I've got the sensitivity of the radio mic 
on its lowest setting because I've listened to some other reviews, not my own yet, because this is my first outing with this setup. So who knows, maybe mine is going to be, well I'll tell you exactly what I was going to say first. Uh, I've listened to other people's reviews and the sound is somewhat a little bit distorted. So I've put it down to the lowest dB setting you can select, there's only three settings you can select on the road system. So I'm on the lowest one, just to try and counteract that. So Hopefully I've got a, a nice clean feed of sound. One thing I've just realised folks is that I've been talking to you the entire time with the visor open on the helmet. I keep forgetting because the airflow protection is so amazing on this BMW. I need to keep the visor open on a lovely warm evening like this just to get some sort of air into the helmet to cool me down. So what I'm going to do now is close the visor just to see how that sounds now. be interesting actually again when I get home to see the difference in sound quality to see if you can notice the difference when the visor is closed. Certainly inside the helmet listening with my own ears it sounds a lot cleaner but I'm sure we'll only know like I say when we feed the stuff into the edit at home. Very excited about this just in case you can't tell just love the whole idea of being able to go out with one camera and not having any cables from the wireless mic that is really good the other fantastic thing about the Rode Wireless Go 2 system is that you can record sound within the transmitter so if your link drops out for any reason you can go home plug your transmitter into the computer and it'll have all of your sound files, I think it records up to seven hours worth of sound files within the unit. So if your battery goes flat in the receiver or like I say the link drops for some reason, then you can just take the file from within the transmitter. It's all very clever stuff. That's actually another workaround as well. If you're looking to record engine noise at the same time as I've just said, which you can't do <laughs> as a live mix, you can always take the sound out of the transmitter you have hidden near your exhaust. When you get back home you can take the sound from that and again just mix that yourself within the edit. I'm very aware this is all sounding a little bit too complicated so I'm going to talk about the pictures for the while. Everything you see now is untreated ungraded it's raw from the camera it's a little bit too contrasty and a little bit too saturated for my liking but within Final Cut Pro X which is what I'm editing all of this stuff on you can strip that back very easily it's only one or two minor little details and again it's all subjective you might like this color um, it's just a little bit too heavy for me, but then again, at work I'm used to having much flatter colours because the editors then colour grade the um, pictures themselves, so again, it's all subjective. Great spin out this. Great route to test this new setup. I know I've already mentioned that I've bought a second Insta360 1x2 there I go again the full name the 1x2 <laughs> but for now and certainly for the foreseeable I'm only going to be using the one camera there was a time well actually since I started motor vlogging last year I was going out with three cameras I was going out with two GoPros I was going out with the predecessor the Insta360 1x oh and then I'd if I could I'd have the drone in my panniers so four cameras in effect and then I was, uh, I had tripods, I had radio mics, it was just ridiculous. And it actually stopped the enjoyment of the ride itself. So what I'm hoping to do is to pretty much do everything on this one camera, one setup. Which would be great. I haven't even started experimenting with the manual settings in the camera yet. No need to, as the auto function within the camera 
is near enough perfect as I say just down to your own preference this is very spirited riding I love being out at this time at night sun setting on the country roads in Westmead Island bit of a playground all right it's absolutely gorgeous up here to be honest it's nearly gorgeous anywhere in Ireland when you're on a motorbike it's a biker's paradise, the ultimate playground, as I've always said, when you're on two wheels. I'm also famed for saying it's an untapped playground. We should really do more to encourage people on bikes in Ireland. I know we get a lot of tourists, well, in normal times, certainly not when it's a lockdown. But in normal times, we get a load of tourists on bikes, which is great to see, especially over on the Wild Atlantic Way. Can you believe it? I haven't even done the Wild Atlantic Way myself on a bike. I've lived here for 18 years, but then as most of you know, I only recently fell back into motorbikes last year after a, a long break from motorbikes after an accident many years ago. So you can take the, the guy off motorbikes, but you can take motorbikes out of the guy. Isn't that what they say, or is it? Maybe I've just made that up. But anyway, that is one of the routes I'm planning to do as soon as life is back to normal in this country. I don't know if I'll get it done this year, although I'd love to think October. I've got the month off in October, and I've already pre-warned my wife and kids, you might not see me for four weeks. <laughs> they're all right with that. I think they're sick of me anyway. <laughs> God, I do hope I'm recording sound. Wouldn't that be awful if I got home and realised there was no sound on this at all? It didn't work. And then I'd have to go back to GoPro. Never. A great revelation is that I just stopped to see if there was any way of checking the pictures and sound back without using the app. I know you can check the pictures back on board the camera. And lo and behold, I heard the sound as well, so I actually never knew you could do that. I thought you had to go through the app to play back with um, sound. So it's great. Um, so I do know that there's some sort of sound going down. Can't really monitor the quality of the sound, but there's definitely a soundtrack there because I can hear my dulcet tones coming out of the camera when I play it back. So all is good. I just hope the quality is good. I hope you're enjoying this spin out folks, I absolutely love this scenery up here, it's just wonderful. I love listening to bikers, including myself, and when we're asked why do you motorcycle, well it's all about the freedom, yeah but you've got freedom in a car as well so, <laughs> maybe it's just about the fresh air I think hitting your face. I know what people mean though, I think It's just the rush, the adrenaline. I'd love to to know exactly what it is about biking that gives us this addiction and feeds the endorphins. I think it is the combination of speed, fresh air, adrenaline. They say you lose weight when you ride a motorcycle because of the amount of adrenaline you're pumping through your system. So, to me, that sounds like the best diet anybody could ever go on. <laughs> Mind you, it's not working too well for me at the minute. Certainly after lockdown. So that's pretty much it for me, folks. I'm going to head back home and feed all of the footage from this new motor vlogging setup of mine into the computer in the hope that I have top quality sound, top quality pictures and uh, wouldn't that just be a fantastic way to motor vlog in the future and I'll also be ditching this monstrosity off my chin mount in all future vlogs if all is well 
So this is me back in the edit, and as you can tell, the sound is absolutely perfect. In fact, I'm delighted with it, as well as the pictures. So I'm now very excited about the future of my own motor vlogs with this one camera and one radio mic. It'll just make life so much easier for me. Uh, the only thing I am going to try and improve on is to get a separate recording of the engine, or the exhaust note rather, just to mix in somewhere and create an even more true-to-life experience of being on the bike so once again folks thanks a million for tuning in i'm dave perry for wheelie good tv over and out